Howdy folks, welcome back to me, BC Impulse. I'm bringing you some Destiny 2 be open beta on the PC. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is because when the beta finished, I was in work for the last few days, so uh, this is my first chance to do my impressions of the open beta on Destiny 2 PC version. Let's see what we think. Uh, first thing, I'm going to start off with negatives. Number one negative was I did spend 45 minutes trying to get into the game it was annoying it kept saying to use the battle.net app which i was using originally in the first place so that was a pain uh secondly i did get discon uh, disconnected from the servers maybe twice maybe three times uh throughout the whole uh four days it was on so yeah that wasn't quite mm, ha uh, nice for me it almost made me feel like i was back on the console <sighs> And also the lack of content. If you've ever played Destiny 1's open beta, you know for a fact you were able to play quite a few of the missions on Earth. And you did the strike, you did Crucible, and you're also able to go onto the moon. In this, you're only able to do Crucible, Crucible, the opening part of the game, uh, the inverted spire, and then eventually for a few hours you were able to visit the social space. That was it. That was all the content you had. Saying that, that's the only negatives. Everything from there is good. I liked the P uh, PC version of Destiny 2. I think the game has found its home. I believe Destiny has now eventually come to the place it belongs, the PC. Yeah, uh, I love the fact that you uh, can get over 60 frames a second if you, you know, do certain videos. I have a video on my channel uh, showing the benchmark of um, do, uh, playing the game at 1440p using the GTX uh, 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 get this right, XFX RX480 GTR that's the card I have and I had 1440p. I did try it on ultra settings, I did have an issue it dropped below 30 frames I dropped it down to the next settings which is high and I was averaging well over 60. I was well over 60. Yeah it's one of the filters, I believe, uh, is uh, filters, I, MSAA is too high. You need to go to the one below it. To honestly use that and use everything else in max, you need a really good graphics card. I can play this game at 1080p with everything maxed on and that on, and I'll average around about 60 frames. I will drop under that. So if you knock that down, I'm averaging 110 but I've limited my card to 70 on this video, so, you know, just to take the stress off the card. <laughs> and I haven't overclocked the card, it's still at the manufacturer settings because I'm still under warranty for another three months. And I do not want to, you know, fuck the graphics card up and then I've invalid the warranty. You know, it's something I don't want to do. But I do like the fact that it plays brilliant. It looks brilliant as well. I mean, it absolutely looks good gorgeous on the PC. I remember the console one looked okay, uh, but when I looked at Destiny 2 on the console, it looked absolutely nice as well. It looked better than Destiny 1. However, on the PC, the PC outmatches that. It looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, <laughs> I can't play. I tried playing with a keyboard, uh, with a controller. I couldn't play with a controller. I had to play with a keyboard. I just couldn't handle it. <laughs> but PC port is fantastic. It plays brilliant PC port. It is really good. Uh, I had no issues with PC port. It felt natural. Uh, yeah, it was a bit weird where the keys in. I when I first played, I forgot to look at see where the keys were, and so I couldn't find the super button. Yeah, and I died. <laughs> yeah, but this inverted spire, you can die uh, if you're not paying attention, and it's really really good game. You can increase your field of view, but I've tried that, and it doesn't look that much different. It's weird. Uh, I don't know if it's because it was the beta, but it just didn't feel like it was uh, much advantage from using at the base 85 and then putting it up to 105. It just didn't seem to be that much of a difference. Uh, it didn't feel like it. Uh, it probably would if you're playing with a bigger monitor. I'm only playing with a, a 1080p 22-inch monitor, so to me that's probably mm, probably why. But overall, I did like the game. It played fantastic, had no issues, and it felt good. It, no, it just really felt good. So, yeah, I'm going to be getting this game when it comes out in October. Yeah, and I will be playing on the PC. I don't have a console anymore because I, I got rid of it. I wish I hadn't, but I got rid of it at the time because I had crappy internet, and now I've got good internet. 
and I wish I kept the console, but I probably would have got this game on PC anyway, because I think PC is the true home of Destiny 2. Do not hate me for that, it's just what I feel. I just feel because of the fact that you're able to play over 60 frames a second, which is probably why I feel it belongs to the console. I tried to play under, tried to play 30 and under, and it doesn't play. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> I have tried it. It's horrible. It looks laggy. Yeah. But overall, I do like this game, and I think it's absolutely fantastic. So if you want to carry on watching this game, please do so. The game plays for about half an hour. I did have an issue where one person got disconnected, then some, the, then the other one left. Then I had, I carried on doing the mission on my own and somebody else joined in and somebody else joined in so eventually did get a full fire team but it just felt like you know there are some sometimes some issues where people I would just finish stop playing or don't. I will say there are high value targets in the inverted sphere you don't have to go straight to that inverted sphere, sphere straight away because on the right hand side you, you might be a battle there there may be some high targets there but if you carry on walking just before you get to where they are when you initially call the bridges up, there's water, well, electric water on the side. Once a portal appears, kill the two goblins there, go straight across that portal, kill the two goblins there, go straight across to the other portal, kill the two goblins there, and then a high value target will appear. You kill a high value target, jump back into the portal, it takes you right back to number one, where you got another high value target. Kill that high value target, jump back into the portal, and it'll take you back to the way to another place, the same one of the same place where you kill two goblins, to find another high value target. So you can get a number of these legendary max. Because when you're in the beta, you didn't see any legendary max, but you know for a fact that when you open these cases, you'll get legendary max. So that's how you're going to do it. So that could be quite a nice, quick grinding way to get uh, leveled up quickly, isn't it? Yeah. So, as I said, I'm going to let you carry on watching the rest of this game. Please enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to shoot off. Uh, I've got to get to uh, you know, relax and uh, keep this damn dog occupied. i got the Mubblos dog down, Harry. And, uh, as you know, he's in a rescue dog and he likes a lot of attention. And he's after attention at the moment. <laughs> yeah. It's not as if I am just taking him out for a stroll, you know. you know, I haven't done that yet. Yeah. Annoying little dog. But until next time, it's me, Impulse. Hope you enjoy the rest of this video, and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye from me. And of course, the drills have armed crews. Friendly suggestion. Drop them first,
Zavala, giant drills. Apparently, cabal research equals giant drills. Zavala! Preparation is anywhere, Ghost. Should they deploy the drills on Earth, we will need your expertise.
suggestion. Drop them first, They want their drill back. This is safe. The Cabal don't need to stick the landing. We do.
I'll be honest. I don't like this one bit. Crucible feels safe. Zavala, we found it. Big Hex. Bigger guns. Good hunting gun. Guns.
ahead. Modular mine neutralized. Oh. Lex weapons would have been a nightmare in Red Legion's hands. You won us an entire theater of this war. I would say you deserve a rest, but we need you elsewhere. Something tells me that suits you just fine. 